Women who are better educated and better employed reduce down their mating pool. Is it reducing down or becoming more selective? What's good for their educational and employment achievements is not necessarily good for their dating prospects. Is that implying that if women want to have success in the dating market, they need to not achieve so much, not do so well and be less ambitious? I would not be okay with a woman preventing herself from achieving what she wanted to achieve in life because she was more concerned about being a suitable partner for me in a relationship. Relationships where the woman out earns the man are 50% more likely to end in divorce. Relationships where the woman contributes more than 80% of household income twice as likely to end in divorce. Is that the reason they got divorced though? How I used to interpret this was if I didn't make more money than the woman I was with, the more likelihood that relationship would fail. Or is that just a commonality in these divorces? Because if you listen to women, this is what they say. Around 70% of divorces of straight couples are initiated by women. And that is because we get sick of men's refusal to do their share of the domestic and caring load. And we realize that we can be happier and do less work single. That information is causation where essentially these statistics could just be a correlation. Relationships where the man is not the primary breadwinner, he is 50% more likely to need to use erectile dysfunction medication. And this is the fault of women's overachieving that half of men can't get boners. Relationships where the man believes that Steven Seagal is a talented underrated actor are more likely to end in divorce. I'm not here saying I'm denying these statistics because that's not the issue. It's just the narrative that inevitably develops around these statistics that's the issue. Give me the information that I need in order to have a successful relationship. That's all I want.